Okay, this is for the G29 golf carts. It's probably for earlier years also. It could probably go way back into the some of the very early models. Because a lot of them are very similar. On your this is for the this is for the stop switches and the stop relays. I've pretty much had this problem from day one since I got my golf cart. And I'm gonna switch out some parts. This is the the stop switch that goes up on the pedal. This one tested good, but I'm gonna replace it anyway. Here's the new one. But I'll be I'll be saving this one. This is original equipment. This one is supposed to be better than factory. Anyway, we're gonna replace all this stuff. This is original, I'm sure. This is your this is your stop relay. These things are so expensive. These things could be $75, $90, $50, for a new, uh, used one. That's ridiculous. There's a few videos on how to swap these out, but they never tell you the symptoms of what the problem is. I back it out about 30 foot, and then I try to keep the engine running which is almost impossible and switch it into forward and then it'll die and then you got to push the pedal absolutely nothing so that can be real aggravating and then I'll get it going then I go down the block then I go to the post office and then I get ready to go it usually starts off fine and then Get to the next block, get ready to go, stop at a stop sign, nothing. Then you got traffic waiting on you, and it's kind of embarrassing. So we're going to see about getting this fixed. This is a relay that I've never changed out, so. And by the looks of it, it looks like it's original. It's one of them 4U8 dash zero two it's the yamaha relay now this one here i've got it on the see so you can you can hear the relay clicking this is your normal relay you have on your golf cart I'll show you where that's at here shortly your foot pedal goes down and it does absolutely nothing that's the problem I'm having but how good is the contacts I'm still waiting on this part to come in hasn't made it yet this part came in today this is around $31. And these, I got a cheap one, and I hope it's going to work. I got it for $10. bucks. i will show you how I'm going to put this in. This is down by your, this is, this is on your foot pedal. We'll put that in here shortly. But after I ordered this one, I checked this in here with the meter, and it, and it tested fine this is normally normally closed a closed circuit which means it the power comes in and right back out we'll get this put in get it all back together and then we'll start working on the relays okay now we're over here at the golf cart here's the new switch and before we start testing on this thing, we're gonna we're gonna pull the belt plumb off. That way we don't have to worry about this thing taking off anywhere. Now as you see I've already got the, the mat pulled back. Pull the these little plastic pieces out, pull the mat back and the and your center plate out. I've got all kind of mods on this thing. You can see this by the all the wiring in here that I've added. 
but this is where this stop switch connects to right here and that bolt right back here fits upside down here now we just gotta put the bolts in okay that's just a Phillips screw we're gonna put that uh, old relay in it and we're just gonna see if we can't recreate what it was doing beforehand and if we can't get to recreate what we what it's been doing then maybe this stop switch right here fixed it so I guess we'll see then plug it in to hear it click push this back down so now we're ready to put the the plate back on I got all them seat belt braces in there. It's gonna be hard to see. Pretty much right next to your your solenoid. It can be on either side. I've seen some on the other side. Be on the right hand or left hand side. So that's where we're gonna put it back. Okay, now you can see we got it put back. Okay, we got this thing charging for a little while. So we'll be back here shortly. Okay, we have the uh, battery all charged up. It starts good now. Turn the key on. You can hear that electric fuel pump going. But now it starts every time now. Got that new part in there. I did take the belt off, so I don't have to worry about it jumping in gear. But this thing is finally working like it should. Push on the gas, and it goes. I jump on this thing, back it out, maybe 50 foot, stop the... I take this golf cart, I back it out, maybe 50 foot, Switch it over to drive, forward. And then when I got ready to go forward, absolutely nothing. Nothing on the foot feet. You'd have to sit there and mess with it till you finally get it going again. That was so aggravating. It would do that all the time. But I've been fighting with this for I don't know how long. It wouldn't do nothing. Now, turn on the key. Completely stops. Fires right back up. That thing is noisy. So now we got this thing all put back together and I did not record anything with the way it was acting. So what am I going to do? Take it back apart. I may not put the switch actually in the foot pedal. I may just hold it and plug it in and hold it and I'll show you.
Anyway, this this switch right here tested good with the meter. And I just about canceled the order because he took two or three days to ship it out from eBay. But I put a brand new one on there. And it works like it's supposed to now. Every time you push the gas pedal down, it works. So if you have a Yamaha golf cart, it can probably go back several years, 20 years or more. If you put your foot on the gas and it won't do nothing, this is probably your problem. Even though this tested good, this is probably your problem. Or it could be your stop relay. This is an automotive relay, so it don't look like the right one, but it's a little bitty square box that's right beside your right beside your starter solenoid. That's your stop solenoid. It could be that or it could be this. I was I was gonna change them both out. I was gonna make sure I got the right one. But I still have the relay on the way and this part fixed it. So I really don't need the relay, but I'll just keep it for spare parts. So like I say, I've already got the new one installed. And uh, what I'm gonna do now, take the golf cart back apart. I'm gonna get back to this connector right here and I'm gonna plug this one in. I may not install it on the on the pedal itself, I'll just sit here and push it and I'm going to show you what it does. Now this one normally upside down like that. So we'll see if we can't get recreate what it was doing before. I push this in and it won't do nothing. So of course it'll probably work fine now. We'll go do that now. Okay, after I took the golf cart back apart, plug the old switch back into it right here. Now all it wants to do is start. So it's doing just the opposite of what it was doing. So I don't know if, uh, see it's normally installed upside down like that. Pushes up on it. Now I'll turn the key on. And it'll try to start. See? That fuel pump is so noisy. But you don't hear it really when you're running it. Just when you're stopped. See, you let go of it now, and it's going to try to start. When before, I mean, this, this switch is so messed up now. Okay, that switch is so messed up now. We're going to switch to the new one. I mean, most of the time it would... It couldn't get it to do nothing. Now all it wants to do is start. So this thing is really messed up now. Push it in until it snaps. Okay. Now I'll try to start it. Okay, that's with a good switch on it. I mean, I'd get in this thing, I'd back her out, put her back and forward, push down on this, I absolutely wouldn't do nothing. So I figured it was something in here. I was going to replace this switch right here, I was going to replace the relay, anything has to do with the starting, starting solenoid. But this right here was the problem. It's 
now I get this thing all buttoned back up and get the belt back on it and I'm ready to go take this thing out for a test drive. It's going to run like it's supposed to now. Put your foot on the gas, it's going to go. So if you got a Yamaha golf cart, put the pedal down, it won't do nothing. That's going to be your problem right there, your stop switch. It's grounding out and it's not doing nothing. Even if this thing tests good, get a new one. Because that was my problem all along. I mean, sometimes it wouldn't run very good. It was probably trying to short out. This is basically a kill switch. And I didn't know if my cools was going bad. I had a problem. That's the reason why I put the fuel pump on there. Act like it was running out of gas. So yeah, I've been fighting this problem for a while. It's okay if you got a Yamaha golf cart and put the pedal down and won't do nothing. Right there's your problem. Thanks for watching.